Welcome to my life as an NPC, I am Corbin Scythe and today we're going to continue to play Being a Dick. In the last episode, I was not keeping track of time, but we did manage to finish uh, the uh, dorm party without any problems. And uh, right after that, we went uh, pretty much straight to uh, not studying, but getting ourselves a haircut. And then heading to uh, one of the exams, midterm exams in gender studies, that's the word for it. And uh, yeah, Derek is not happy because he has to be talking to three purple-headed girls, ha haired girls. And I have to talk to... Yeah, these people. I believe... I'm not sure. Of course, I remember Linda. The bane of my existence, pretty much. After Sally. Um, I, I just can't stand Linda. I... I she... Rubs me the wrong way just by by looks alone. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and I think that all these three might be girls that I've been talking to previously in class uh, about their uh, opinions and well, when studying gender studies, that is. So let's get into it, shall we? And let's do the midterm exams. You may begin. So the first topic is. Discuss gender misconceptions and where it went wrong. I think you got one. I read that one myth is that women's and men's brain are different. They are different. No, I believe that myth was debunked when... Men think about sex all the time. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's like they have two brains. One tiny brain in their head and a big, big one in their penis. Hey, hey, these are not feminists. These are, mm, what's the word, mass? Eh, eh, mandarinists? No, eh, the reverse of misogyny. Mm. I know there's a word for it. Oh, misandry. Mm. Okay, because andro. And and andro means male or masculine in Greek. So what was it? What's the first one? Misogyny or misandry? Misogyny, misandry. Yeah, they are not feminists. They're just misandrists. They they're not feminists. They are just misandrists. Yeah. They are the people that uh, feminists. And men alike hate because they are not on the right side of the of history. I hooked up with a guy this weekend, and his boss looks like a brain. Oh my! That's probably where they kept keep it. What is it with that weird guy, Alvin? He tried to touch my breast once. No, I think his name was Lucas. No, wait, that was his friend. It was a, uh, it was Gordon. He always smiles like an idiot when he orders food, and I thought I'd throw him a bone. Oh, you work in the cafeteria, huh? So I let him sixty-nine and deny me. I do not know what denying is. What the hell does that mean? Oh, I know that one. It's the fried chicken and cashew from that Asian restaurant on 56th Street. God damn, Linda! D9. No, the D9 is when you transition from 6 to 9 into him licking your butt. DPC, Dr. Pinkcake. How do you know so much? I am kind of afraid. <laughs> he licked your butt with his tongue? Yeah, he was a real gentleman about it too. He spelled my name with his tongue to make it feel extra special. Yeah, I've heard of that. Um, in order to pleasure a woman, well, I didn't need to make it sound ridiculous, uh, you need to. Uh, one way to do it is to. Uh, when you lick the clitoris, you. 
and spell out either words or the alphabet with your tongue. That's kind of hot. I used to spell my name in alphabet soup when I was six. But I've been struggling with dyslexia and it turns out I wasn't really alphabet soup. It was a bowl of noodles. Oh my lord, I hate you so much. I love noodles. I don't, they're too slimy. I don't think they're saying anything wrong. There's anything wrong with asking women if they are on their period when they get angry? Yes, yes there is. There's proving correlation between mood swings and periods. Oh, so the only reason that a woman gets angry is if they have the period? Do you have yours right now? That's none of your fucking business! Well, screaming only proves my point. Hey, you're not, uh, you're not partaking in the discussion much. Are you even listening? And I cannot go... I, I have too many characters. I can't do you all. Yeah, I tried to talk about gender misconceptions, you know. Like the test says we should, but... Nice try, you're not gonna get off that easily. Do you remember who tried to grab my breast once? I learned. It was either Napoleon Dynamite, Lucas, or Gordon. Uh, Alvin was his name. Yeah, it, it was... How the hell am I supposed to choose? I think Gordon. Gordon, I believe. Sometimes I wish someone, anyone, would fondle mine, you know, with a gentle but firm touch. What was the guy's name and what did it do to me at that party? Oh, that was Gordon. Gordon, 69 and D9. His name was Gordon and he's 69 and D9 you. What would you get if you ordered that thing he did to her at that Asian restaurant and what street was it on? 59th? 56th street? Okay, it was 50... So it's either chicken and noodles, no, fried chicken and the cashews. Because we don't talk about noodles until later. That restaurant on 56th street, you'd get fried chicken and cashews. Kurt, would you please stick to the questions for this test? I'm trying! Yeah, believe me, I'm trying to! Girls, let's discuss the second question. Discuss a topic within the, within the area of gender studies that lies close to your heart. I must express that I'm not particularly happy with how you called us girls just now. Labeling genders without asking should be a deadly sin. Another thing that should be a deadly sin is to give away someone else's food without asking first. What the hell are you talking about? Again with the burgers. We ordered more than we needed in case of uninvited guests. In what world are 18 burgers enough for 3 girls when 6 pizzas didn't arrive? I'm sorry, Linda, but why don't you weigh like 500 pounds? Why? You have an extremely unhealthy relationship with food. And I hate you. <laughs> you know what I think happened? I think someone stole them. I know that feeling. Someone's been stealing coffee milk packets and bananas from the cafeteria. The milk packets are free when they when you buy a coffee for $2.99. Oh lord. $2.99. But we didn't sell enough coffee to run out of the 10 boxes of milk packets we ordered weekly. I can't drink coffee. It makes me gassy. I prefer herbal tea without lemon. Without lemon, herbal tea without lemon. But with lots of sugar and honey and don't forget the lo Ow! Why do you put lard in your tea? Oh my god. Well, calling me a sexist and using the word whom incorrectly aren't the only things you've been uh, wrong about today. I do too have a topic regarding gender studies that lies close to my heart. 
men age like whiskey and women age like milk. Discuss! I, when I was a kid, I was watching this stand-up comedy uh, and they said that um, women age like fine wine and me men age like milk. <laughs> I like that version better. Um, but yeah. Look, he's not listening again. I know, it makes me kind of mad when it's the finals. It's like he doesn't want to pass the course. You're not discussing the topics, Linda! What's wrong with you? Way to go, bro. Stick up for yourself. I want to know more about Maya. Please save me. At what age did I spell my name in the alphabet soup? Six. I hate you so much. It wasn't alphabet soup, it was noodle soup and you were six. And who of us was it that didn't like noodles because they are too slimy? Uh, middle girl. It was a um, middle girl in the middle who never told me her name. Okay, so we didn't talk to her. How many burgers and pizzas did we order? 18 burgers, 6 pizzas. You ordered 18 burgers and 6 pizzas. And once again, you underestimate my stupidity. Derek, I know you're passionate about your views, but please lower your volume. I'm sorry, Jade. Like my mama told me, I'm gonna try to speak with my little voice. I... <sighs> Everyone here sucks. Only I believe Maya might be the only one who has a real experience here. If breastfeeding in public isn't disgusting... <laughs> then neither is staying to watch. Can we move on to the final topic? What did this course teach you that you will bear with you? Oh, that's a bad stupid question, unfortunately. No, it's not actually. It reinforced my views on when why men are pig, that's for sure. Biggest lesson for me is probably how we can combat sexism in the workplace. Thank you! A good voice! Excellent topic, Beth! Thank you! But I'll also I'll just remember how Jenny farted during class. <laughs> 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 she has let it rip. If Karen had sat next to her, her airing area would have done the feedback thingy. <laughs> That's so fucking rude. It was funny when she tried to cover it up by coughing like five seconds later. Oh lord. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. The trick is to plan the fart. Spontaneous one requires some serious reflexes. You don't spontaneously fart. What's wrong with what I wear? It's just a fun shirt. No, it's disgusting, sexist, and sends a powerful and creepy message about yourself. Oh, personal insults, commenting on what other people, commenting on what people other people wear. I thought men weren't allowed to comment on women's choice of clothing in today's society. Wow, it's insane how Derek always takes the has uh, goes in the right entry and then just takes a hard left through the first brick wall and just goes insane. It's actually quite amazing. But apparently there's no equality here, so don't mind me if I join in. Because I find it pretty funny being attacked by a girl with a bold haircut and clothing style that suggests she's about to drop another rap album. Woo! Hey, sleepyhead. What what do I like in my herbal tea? Lemon sugar. No, not lemon. Uh, sugar, honey, and lard. Mm -hmm. You like your herbal tea with sugar, honey, and lard. How much does the cafeteria charge for coffee and how many boxes of milk packets do we order weekly? 2 9 9 and 10. 
<laughs> I hate you all. You charge two ninety nine for a cup of coffee and you order ten boxes of milk packets weekly. Who was it that farted in class and how many seconds after did she cough? Most likely Linda because she's the only one uh, uh, defending it. In five seconds. Oh, he was not Karen, and so it was Jenny. Mm -hmm. It was Jenny and she coughed five seconds too late. What was the first topic we discussed today? <sighs> I might have to cheat on this one. Because this is a trick question. Either it's the actual thing we were talking about, or it's the thing they were talking about, or something like that. So let's go with a sheet here. Just read the paper, Linda. <laughs> you scored 90 points plus zero. You unlocked a special render. You got plus dig from cheating. Oh! Get him! Domestic abuse! Great job helping your cost, Mini! Everybody stop it. I will not tolerate violence of any kind of, of any kind in my classroom. Pig! Yeah, of course. Oink oink, bitch. I believe I have heard, heard what I need to hear from all of you. Please put back your shares and one at a time come up to me before you leave for my final notes. Wow. You're here. Oh yeah, I got a haircut from Bella. Somehow I ended up with gum in my hair after the dorm party. That's not fun. Gum is so hard to get rid of. You should have tried putting peanut butter on it. Et tu Brutus? No. Not something like that. Yeah. So, how did this test go? Maya, I just want to leave this classroom. All that studying we did for this class was in vain. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It's over now. I bet that makes you happy. Yeah, I'm praying that I pass. I think it's uncommon that anyone fails this course, but I could be wrong. Excellent, your mind has been able to stimulate discussion throughout this course. You pass. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Derek Bailey. Do you have any final words of your performance in this class? Oh, yay. I don't know how, how, you, how you did it, but this class, it managed to bring out the worst in me. If I fail you, will you come back next year? I'd hate to admit it, but I might. You pass. <laughs> That's uh, Yeah, she just wants to get rid of him. <laughs> Kurt, pass. Next. Oh, nothing. She just accepts me. Hey, congrats. We did it. Our first completed course. So we've been here for six months now, huh? or a, a half a semester. Congrats to you too! It's finally over! <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Are we going to take any new classes for the rest of the term? Yeah, I have an intro to science course starting after Halloween. Oh, science! Sounds cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping for some experiments and lab work. What about you? I'm excited too. My first course in social work is coming up. Social work, huh? You don't wanna take science with me? I hear it's easy credits. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, right. Sorry about that. At least your resume is off to a good start. We're gonna have fewer classes together after this semester. I hope so. Hey, what? I mean that I'm looking forward to studying what I came here for, and I'm sure you do too. It's only natural that we won't have the same classes. Well, we still have English and math together until spring. How do you feel about those tests? Fully prepared? I hope so, but you never know. I do not like his haircut. Unless you're studying, are you free, are you free tonight? I thought we could do something. I'd love to, but I have plans. I'm planning a surprise Halloween party for the dicks with Sage and Quinn. Quinn, huh? That's all you took from that sentence? 
sound of fun up until that word. Well, Sage insisted on her joining, so... Will I even make the guest list? Dude, we will take you in regardless. <laughs> of course! Well, have fun. Let it go, it was a joke. Didn't you get the ha Didn't you get haze when you came here? Yes, but there's a fine line between hazing and bullying. You need to be more perceptive and not pile it on if you feel that a pledge can take the hazing. I thought she could, but apparently she has handle a handful of victim cards and we sh she sure loves to play them. Fuck you, Quinn. Don't even go there, we all have baggage. And if she decides to come back, I expect you to bury the hatchet with her. Maybe you're the one who needs to work on your perception. She's not coming back. She might. I talked to her, and she is thinking about it. That's such a bad call. If she's not convinced up until the, this point, I'll let her go. She's not worth... She's not your pity project. Don't turn on each other. Fine. Don't think that I lack sympathy for you. When I came here, there was a sister I didn't get along with either. That was so weird, but I'm going with it. I know, because you wanted to be president, the next one in line got pissed off. Exactly. I never changed my mind about her, but neither did I show my dislike to any other sister. You have to lead by example and treat any adversary as your friend. Is that what you... What you did with Sarah and Mel the other day. <sighs> Don't do that to me. I can't believe they told you. You're not that perfect either, get it? I didn't say I was, but I'm trying my best and I admit my mistakes. That's the difference. And my time here isn't over yet. I'm gonna pester you about these things, so suck it up. Okay. We're good, right? Teaching. Hey, did you start without me? She looks so lovely here! I mean, she's a hot ass to the core and everything. You can tell that just from her clothes. But without all that, I don't, I don't remember what she looks like with makeup, but she looks lovely here. Yep, we're done already. <laughs> For real? It's never planned apart before, you said. It's a first time for everything. No, we haven't started. It takes a long time to plan a party, dude. Does it? More than a few hours? For a kick-ass Halloween party? We're talking about days of planning and weeks of preparations. And is that the smallest tier? What is this? Weeks? I don't know about the two of you, but I can stay until midnight. I have midterms tomorrow. Did you study more? Yeah, and I'm off for the evening, so... Uh, come on, party talk, let's go! Take a seat. Don't be rude, offer him a drink. Oh, it's really difficult. You do all these voices back and forth. Thanks. It's gonna take some time for me to get used to your haircut, but I like it. Thanks, and I get a lot too. So, where do we start? Location. Pfft, easy. Here. Oh, I thought we were gonna have it at our place. Yeah, that's what I had in mind too. Uh, can we party over there again? Yeah, I think we'll be good for the, good to go by Halloween. Do the others know about it? No, it's a surprise for now, but I've been planning on telling them. Sage, I don't know about, about Sage, I don't know about this. Is it because of Tommy? I thought the dicks knew about it. Are we gonna plan a Halloween party when they might not want it? The mansion is the mansion is bigger than Tommy. The rest of the guys want it, I'm sure. 
All right, whatever. It's not whatever. The location of the location is important. Important. Are you okay with this or what? Yeah, but this one is on you. I'm not gonna be involved in any fallout arising from this decision. There won't be any fallout. I'm breaking news to them. Great. And we've settled on a location. And a date. Well, Halloween, of course. <laughs> Invitations next. Dicks and Hots. Who else? The usuals? Sounds good. Are we okay with no alphas, though? I thought that was a given. Well, even if most of the Hots would agree that we should part with the Dicks, we need to discuss this. On top of the traditions, the Hots still have a personal connection to the Alphas. Are we really giving a fuck about Ariath in that way? She constantly bangs and falls in love with, it, with new guys. It's not only him. As I gather, Ashley and Anthony are an item. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Why? What do you think? What What do you know? Well, Derek and Ashley are pretty close too. I'm not sure he'd be happy if Anthony came. Also, no dick likes Dawe. No one likes Dawe, but that never stopped him from coming. It might be better not to invite them, but they could get pissed off. Yeah, we can't have them attacking us with dildos again. Seriously. We can't afford to keep replacing our windows. And another thing to keep in mind is the long-term relationship between Hots and Alphas. Maybe you're not aware, but there are some rules and regulations when it comes to sororities and throwing parties. Historically, it's up for the friends to throw them, but we bent those rules by throwing mixers, mixers at our house. But sororities are not allowed to throw parties? Now that's something that should be up in the gender studies. Not to mention the codes. Hush, hush. Mixers. Is this why the alphas were at a... Is this why the alphas were at your recent party? Yeah, but those rules are meant to be broken. We even allow co-eds to come. While I agree with what Queen said, the traditions are archaic and borderline misogynistic at times, we can't be stupid about this. We have rules and obligations. Pissing off the Alphas can mean lasting consequences for the sorority. How about we make sure that they are busy that night? How do we do that? Leave that one to me. Okay, if that's the case, no Alphas at the party then. Anyone else that can't come while we're at it? No preps or nerds. Are you sure? Didn't Sally and Karen come to our last party? The girls don't count, it's the dudes that don't mix with the dicks and, any, and annoy others. Damn, why am I? Why is my voice so gravelly when I'm doing... Uh, Quinn. Okay. We'll take it person by person when it comes to them. What about expanding the list of co-eds who are invited? I know some of them weren't too happy about not being allowed to come to our recent mixers. It's supposed to be a big part, right? Go ahead and invite them, but try to keep the guy to girl ratio even. <laughs> I see where your head's at, pervert. Oh really? I didn't say uh, to skew the ratio in favor of more girls, did I? Well, I think that might be the case no matter how we do it. We, we party mostly with girls. Holy crap, what's up with my voice? See how nice I worked out for you? Let's move on. Can we move on? What's next? Decorations? Liquor first, who buys what? What if you guys take care of that and we get the this and, and we get the decorations? I need to check with the rusty. Is it a fair split? Don't worry, we'll split the expenses in half and charge people an entry fee. 
So what type of alcohol are we getting? Rusty knows what to order. We'll give him a rough number of invitations for it. Okay, I'll let him know it. I'll let him in on it. As for decorations, we still have a lot of from previous years, but we'll probably need more. It's the same with the music playlist. We can use last year's list, but to add some songs. The Hots can take care of snacks and stuff too. It seems like this is going smoothly. What else is there to plan? I think those are the big things. We need to plan details later, and we should prepare some activities too. Do we need that for Halloween? Most of you, most are just there to get drunk and fuck someone in a slutty costume. I didn't say the activities couldn't be sexy, did I? Sexy activities? Like what? The competition? Not necessarily a competition, but uh, like uh, com but I like competitions. We can do the best costume one, and we could think of something sexy and fun. Strip games are a classic, but people are wearing costumes, so it might not work. What about blindfold games? Guessing who does what or what? Guessing who? Guessing who does what and what not? Huh. Yeah, that could work. I'm lost. What's that exactly? Oh, she's gonna tease me now. You take a blindfold like this one. Why do you have a blindfold lying around here? <laughs> Put it on. Okay, now what? And now someone does something to you and you have to guess. Stupid, simple, but stupid, simple, but quite fun. Okay, I get it. You can remove the blindfold, dumbass. Yeah, thank you. What? I thought we were playing! Why did you even ask me to put it on? <laughs> oh, she's inviting her to do something stupid to me. Oh. Oh. Damn, there. Oh. Kissing me on the nose. <laughs> Smack suck! Uh... Is that like... I, I don't know. Someone sucked on my nose. You're supposed to guess who it was. Wait, did you think you had to guess what they did? <laughs> ha ha ha. I'm dying. I knew that! <laughs> yeah, right. She is... When she's not a bitch, she's actually lovely. Uh, and... Uh, okay, so this is... You are staring at me in uh, who do I want to possibly hook up with. Because otherwise we wouldn't have to see it. Sage, I guess. I'm, I'm saving Queen for a private run. This was easy though, it was Sage. How could you tell? I couldn't, I was guessing. Oh, is it Queen's turn to do something? <laughs> that wouldn't make this game predictable at all. What is going on here? How much do you, are you guys drinking? Uh, yeah, sure, it was uh, Queen. Thanks, Queen, my cheek is wet. Sorry. Oh, it was you? Ooh. They are obviously enjoying this. So not doing anything would be silly. I'm confused. I thought you said this that this game was a sexy one. If it is if it's someone you like with a blindfold on, you can do hot stuff to them. So that's why Sage didn't do any of it. We're not playing for real, are we? 
Uh, why not? He's either an idiot or he's instigating. Idiot! I can happily go with idiot. Excepting that he's not an idiot and he's definitely instigating. Do something hot to me. Fuck no, I'm not touching him. Okay, whatever. That's enough for now, Kurt. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. What a bummer, it was pretty kinky. Yeah, it makes sense. We haven't, um... Well, this is a weird thing to do. Uh, we haven't been playing with him enough, to, so to speak. I feel we're getting sidetracked here. What about costumes for Halloween? Mandatory, but no theme. Yeah, and we should have a rule that it must be a new costume too, or everyone will show up as a slutty nurse again. I mean, you could be in a sexy hospital. No. Did they do that? Did they do that last year? She's exaggerating, but yeah, there was a there were a lot of repeated there were a lot of repeat costumes. I don't think it has to be a rule, but we could tell people when we invite them to dress differently from last year. What kind of joke are we putting here? So I can come as a slutty nurse then. Do it. I'll pay if you do. Oh. I am... Why is she being lovely all of a sudden like this? She's been a bitch throughout the entire game. And now in the last 30 minutes or whatever you want to say. It's like, oh, she's a lovely person. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I'll pay if you don't. Jeez. Either way, I'm getting paid. Nice. What are you going as? I haven't made up my mind yet. You? Something less elaborate than last year? What was it? I was a black widow. As in an actual spider? It looked good. Yeah, but the spider legs got stuck everywhere and people kept stepping on them. Do you want more to drink? Sure. Are we done? Yeah, for this time. Awesome job. It's gonna be a banger. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Sleep tight, guys. And good luck with the midterms tomorrow, Kurt. Oh yeah, the midterms. And that is where I cut off, uh, cut off for today's episode. Um, yeah, obviously nothing was going to happen there. Uh, they are not just going to go from 0 to 100 because we are planning a party and I happen to have a blindfold on. I do realize that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, it could, be an, it could have been a nice scene. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And remember, just because you're not the main character doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.